subscribers and fans, Daddy's here. That's right, the Iceman. And there has been some news over toys. Yeah, and I have this NECA toy right here. This is the 2014 Godzilla. Look at that. The detail is amazing. It's very uh, flexible and shit. Very articulate. Yeah, it's about six inches tall, about 12 inches long. The tail is very bendy as well. So that's why I'm kind of excited, the fact that NECA, as I was hoping they would, in fact, I really hope they're gonna also make Godzilla Earth from the Godzilla anime trilogy, Monster Planet, because Godzilla Earth looks pretty awesome as well. But look at this Shin Godzilla. Yeah, a very vibrant Godzilla considering how Godzilla normally is. Very bland and such, especially the 2014 Legendary one. But of course, I really do like the design of this one. But it looks like NECA is going to release this one. Uh, and I believe it's going to have an atomic breath feature as well, hopefully that you can remove. But of course, as many of you might know who have seen the film, you can also shoot it out of his tail. Very interesting. Look at this guy. Look at the purple variations here. The different hues of all that shit. Yeah, looks hideous. I was never very intrigued by the look of Shin Godzilla, but I know that a lot of folks are. And I know that a lot of people are excited over the matter that they decided to go an entirely different route with the creation of Godzilla in Shin Godzilla. So there's definitely something to be had here, and this is probably going to be a hot seller. Yeah, look at this guy. Here's some other images of him. Now, I have another NECA one as well. This is the uh, GMK Godzilla from like, what is what, like the 80s or 90s, I think, is when that film was made. But this one, of course, looks really badass. Or was that early 2000s? It might have been early 2000s. I'll have to look that up. But this one's very articulate as well, just like the 2014 version. So both of these are by NECA. Yeah, NECA makes some epic stuff, man. And they're really cheap as well. I bought this one off the Toys R Us website for like $22 total with shipping. I'm very excited over that matter. Yeah, not, not very expensive for such a high quality toy. And they have some weight to them as well. Yeah, NECA does it right, man. So look at this thing. And there he is in some sort of city diorama. Wow. Yeah, it'll be nice to compare these two and to maybe do like a toy action video of them fighting. So, really interesting take on Godzilla here. And uh, I'm very pleased that they're going to have it with NECA. And a few people have commented on this article and it seems that they're all in agreement with not only is Shin Godzilla a good movie, but this is also an epic looking Godzilla. So, it might sell well. And hopefully they'll make a Godzilla Earth as well. But what do you guys think about this thing? It's coming out November of this year. So I'm going to be definitely looking around for that on the internet around that time and getting myself on it. I'll do a review on this channel as well, so stay tuned for that. And if you will like this damn video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the page. And let me know what you think of the neck of Godzillas. Now a lot of folks talk highly of the monster arts Godzillas as well. So which one of those two brands do you favor? Let me know in the comment section below and like this video. I'm the Iceman. Peace be with you.